everyone, Ann Olson here. We had a question regarding using regulation versus unregulated. So, my thoughts on that are, if you're doing ruler work, you definitely want to be in regulated mode. You want, the, you want to be able to go slow and stop and pause and think about things. Um, if you're doing a complicated design, like this feather, for instance, has lots of different variation. I've got bump backs in here. I've got curls. I've got little spines. And I was creating it as I went. It's not pre-planned or anything. So I like to be in regulated mode for that um, because it's just creating it as you go and you make it up to fit your space. And so that works well. I'm doing the echo right now and that is regulated. But when I come back and fill in, um, as you can see in this particular one, I'm going to do a stipple. And for me, putting that into unregulated is much easier because at that point, I can just flow and dance with my machine. So I would say that there's times where you want to be unregulated if you know your machine and you have the control of it. Um, the other time where unregulated is great is if you're doing spiky designs like a star or um, curls that have a lot of jagged edges. Um, the McTavishing technique can be better if I'm doing backfill to be unregulated because it's got points, lots of points where you're coming in and out of. And sometimes that's easier to control manual than it is to uh, do regulated. So regulated tends to be slower if you're doing spiky stuff, I guess I would say. So here I've got to finish a few spots in um, regulated mode. So I'm just going to finish the last of the echo here. So that's the finish of the echo. And then in this particular machine, I will switch it over. And I also am going to switch the speed. I think it was right around there because you want, you're controlling the speed of your machine. So you've got to play with and know your machine good enough to know what speed you need for your next element of design that you're doing. Okay, so that's too slow. But in order to reach this particular machine, I've got to pause. So I'm gonna speed it back up a little bit, see if that's enough. And in manual mode, I'm completely controlling it. So I'm the one controlling the stitch length. But it's a lot smoother and easier to just flow and do that little stipple that I'm doing in manual mode. So that's some thoughts on manual versus regulated, unregulated. Man and when I say manual, I mean unregulated.